we are done with the different kinds of functions. Starting this lesson, we will be dealing with another big math topic which is business math. To start, we will talk about simple interest. For you to understand it, let us consider this situation. Suppose you have earned 5,000 pesos from a part-time job after some time. You decided to invest it for 3 years in a bank which offers 5% simple interest rate per year. How much will you have by the end of the period? Notice from the table that for each year, the simple interest rate and the amount after T years are computed based on the same principal amount and the same rate over the years. That is, the simple interest does not depend on the previous year, but is constantly computed by multiplying the principal amount by the interest rate and the time in years. On the other hand, the amount in T years is computed by adding the simple interest constantly to the original amount. Simple interest in a, is a topic which is regularly applied in many of man's business every day. We have to review some of the basic terms associated with simple interest first. Lender or creditor is the person or institution termed to one who or which invests the money or makes the funds available. Borrower or debtor is the person or institution who owes the money or avails of the funds from the lender. Maturity date is the date on which the money borrowed or loan is to be completely repaid. Time or term, denoted by T, is the amount of time in years the money is borrowed or invested. Principal, denoted by T, is the amount of money borrowed or invested on the loan date or origin date. Rate, denoted by R, is the annual rate, usually in percent, charged by the lender or rate of increase of the investment. Interest, denoted by I, is the amount paid or earned for the use of money. Simple interest, denoted by I sub S, is the interest that is computed on the principal and then added to it. Compound interest, denoted by I sub C, is the interest that is computed on the principal and also on the accumulated past interests. Maturity value or future value, denoted by F, is the amount after 10 years that the lender receives from the borrower on the maturity date. This time, let me present the formula we use in solving for the simple interest. That is, I sub S equals P R T, where I sub S is simple interest, P is principal or amount invested or borrowed, R is the simple interest rate, and T is time in years. Let us have some applications of simple interest in real-life problems. Example 1. How much interest is charged when 30,000 pesos is borrowed for 5 months at an annual simple interest rate of 7%? So the given in the problem are the following. First, the principal amount which is 30,000 pesos, then the simple interest rate which is 7% or when changed to decimal, uh, decimal number is 0 0.07 and the value of T in years which is 5 over 12 year because the given is expressed in number of months. So in, in uh, expressing years, that is 5 over 12 years. And we are asked to solve for the value of I sub S, or the simple interest. Now, using the, prob or using the formula for the simple interest rate, which is I sub S equals P times R times T, we will substitute the given, uh, the given values for the variables. So this equation will become I sub S is equal to the value of P is 30,000 times the rate 0 
and the time expressed in years, which is 5 over 12. By multiplying these three, you may use your calculator, you will get the value of the simple interest, which is 875 or 875 pesos. Example 2. Candy invested a certain amount of money in a small business. She invested it at an annual simple interest rate of 8%. In a year and a half, the money earned 2,460 pesos. How much money was originally invested? So the given in this problem are the value of R or the simple interest rate which is 8% or in decimals that is 0 0.08. It is important to change uh, the, the rate into decimals. And then the time, it has to be expressed in number of years since it is a year and a half. So that is 1.5 year or 3 over 2 years. Then, the value of the simple interest is also given, that is 2,460 pesos. And we are asked to solve for the value of P, how much money was originally invested. So the amount of money which was originally invested, and that is uh, the value of P. Now again, since this involves a problem on simple interest, we will be using this formula. I sub S equals PRT. Then since uh, all of the variables have values except for one, then we may solve for that uh, for that variable. So I sub S is 2,360, R is 0 0.08, and T is 1.5. So that equation will become this one. So we are left now with one variable, and we may solve for its value. By multiplying these two, you'll get 0.12p or 2,460 equals 0.12p. Since we would like to solve for the value of p, then by mpe, we will divide both sides by this factor 0.12 or multiply both sides by 1 over 0.12. And then we'll get 20,500. By reflexive property, that means... The money which was originally invested is 20,500 pesos. Example 3. How long will the amount invested by an entrepreneur earn an interest equal to three-fourths of it at 10% simple interest? Let us have some representations. Let P be the amount invested. We do not know the exact amount of the original investment. So let it be represented by the variable P. And given that P is the amount invested, the problem described the interest or I sub S as 3P over 4. The interest or simple interest is 3 fourths of the original amount or of P. So that is 3P, 3P over 4. And then it is also given that the simple interest rate is 10% or in decimals that is 0 0.10 or 0 0.1. And then we are asked to solve for the value of T. So let us find T. Since this is a problem again on simple interest, then we will be using again the formula I sub S equals PRT. And then by substitution, we'll arrive at this equation. I sub S will now become 3P over 4. We have mentioned that earlier. Equals P as is. Then R is now 0 0.10 or 0 0.1. So P times 0 0.1 times T. We will solve for the value of T. Next, we will use MPE by multiplying both sides by 1 over P or dividing both sides by P. So those are just the same. Uh, why do we need to use MPE? Because we would like to solve for P. So we need to cancel P. So divide both sides by P or multiply both sides by 1 over P. Looking at the left hand side, when you multiply this by 1 over P, P divided by P is equal to 1. So 3 times 1 is 1. So 1 times 3, 3, 
this now becomes 1. 1 times 4 is 4. So this will be reduced to 3 fourths. On the other side, this will be P divided by P because all these numerators will be multiplied and then their denominators are all 1s times P is equal to P. Then we may divide them. P divided by P is equal to 1. Okay, what do we mean by saying, uh, by saying that? Okay, we mean we divided this. P divided by P is 1. So that's why we have 3 fourths. And then on the right-hand side of the equation, when we divide p by itself, we'll get 1. So what will remain is 0 0.1 times t or 0 0.1 t. Next, t still has this factor, 0 0.1. So we'll use again mpe by dividing both sides by 0 0.1. Okay, by dividing this by 0 0.1, you will get 7.5. Dividing this by 0 0.1, 0.1 divided by itself is 1. 1 times t is t. So that means the value of t is 7.5 years. Last example, example 4. Mario needed to finance his family expenses, so he loaned 100,000 pesos in Qt Bank. After two years, the simple interest amounted to 20,000 pesos. What interest rate is being charged? Okay, so in this problem, what, what are given are the value of P or the original amount, which is 100 pesos, the amount that he loaned. And then, it is also given that the value of T is 2, 2 years. Also, I sub S or the interest is 20,000 pesos. The simple interest amounted to 20,000 pesos. So this is the value of I sub S. Now we are asked to solve for R, the interest rate, the simple interest rate. Since this is a problem on simple interest, so we will use again the formula or equation I sub S equals PRT. And by substitution, we'll get this equation. I sub S is 20,000 equals P is 100,000 times R, the unknown, times T, which is equal to 2. So 100,000 times 2 times R is 200,000 R. And to solve for R, we'll use MPE and divide both sides by 200,000. And you'll get R equals 0 0.1. And since this is a rate, then we may uh, we may convert it to a percent, which is 10%. 0 0.1 is equal to 10%. Meanwhile, in real life, it is important and meaningful to determine the maturity or future value of an amount invested or then, and not just the amount of the simple interest. That is given F as the maturity value, P as the principal amount invested or then, and I sub S as simple interest, the maturity or future value is defined by the equation F equals T plus I sub S, where F is the maturity or future value, P the principal amount, I sub S is the simple interest. Since I sub S equals PRT, or P times R times T, then F equals P plus I sub S can be rewritten as F equals P plus PRT or F equals P times the quantity of 1 plus RT. Let us have an application of this in a problem. Example 5. How much will Ms. Reyes have after 5 years and 3 months if she deposited 30,000 pesos in a bank that pays 1% simple interest? So, the given in this example or in this problem are the following. T, which is 5 and 3 over 12 or that is also 5 and 1 fourth or simply 5.25 years because T must be expressed in number of years. Since we have here five years and three months, 
So expressed in years, this is 3 over 12 year or 1 fourth or 0.25 years. Year. So in total, the given value for T is 5.25. Next, the value of P or the amount deposited is 30,000 pesos. And the simple interest rate is 1% or in decimals that is 0 0.01. Remember or recall that uh, in changing a percent to decimals, we simply move the decimal point to places to the left. So that is 0 0.01. That's the technique. And then we are going to solve for the value of F or the maturity or future value. Because in a problem, let's go back to the problem, how much will she have after, after this value of T? So that is not just the value of the interest, but the future value or the maturity value. And the formula for that is F equals P times 1 plus RT. P times the quantity of 1 plus RT. And by substitution, this is what we will get. P is 30,000 times the quantity 1, that's a constant, plus the value of rate, which is 0 0.01, times the value of T, which is 5.25. By PEMDAS, we have to simplify first the terms or the numbers inside, uh, inside the parentheses, or we have to perform first the operations inside the grouping symbols. And here, before addition, we'll have first to multiply these two. So we have 0 0.01 times 5.25 is 5.26. So we have 30,000 times 1 plus 5.26. And before multiplication, since we still have a grouping symbol, let's add these two first. We'll get 6.26. And this time, we'll multiply it with or by 30,000. And you'll get 187. 1,800 or 187,000 pesos. That's the money she will have after 5 years and 3 months. I hope you have recalled now how to solve for the simple interest or even if the unknown is the principal amount. Simple interest rate for the time in years as long as 3 of the 4 variables in I equals PRT are given. I hope as well that you have been reviewed on solving for the maturity value of a principal amount then or invested. Until next time.